Hello, Gemini. I missed you guys. Gemini, happy weekend to you. Happy New Year. I can't believe it's almost 2023. Gemini, I hope you're doing great wherever you are. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you. What you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? especially in relation to you, Gemini. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Gemini, for Gemini's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Gemini in their life as, and how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Gemini in their life and how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Gemini. Oh, you're concentrating heavily on your money. There's drama uh, brewing at your job between people. So you, you, you feel or you will feel that you're going to have to defend yourself because there's a lot of gossiping going on, blaming going on, people fighting for power. Stay away from gossip circles. Defend your good name. You are a good, diligent worker. Don't get involved in the drama in their dramatics, in their gossip. Yeah, stay away from drama circles. Yeah, you you either did already uh, defend yourself or you will be defending yourself or will be defending yourself again, it looks like. Yeah, you work with some dramatic people who like to create chaos for others. They everywhere you go. You can't just avoid them, but some places have more of them than others and that's when it becomes a headache. Um, yeah, you uh, concentrate just on your job, d keep it all business and go home. That's it. That's all you have to do. Do not get involved. Don't let them blame you for things you didn't do or say. Ooh, some kind of wish fulfillment showing up here. You're going to be celebrating something. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating something to do with your work. So you are a diligent worker, bringing profit in, respected, and you do have jealousy towards you. So you know what that means. When people are jealous, that means you're doing something right. Continue doing what you've been doing. Continue being proactive, passionate. Don't let negative people affect you negatively with their energy and uh, behavior. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating something, whether it's a new job, a promotion, a raise, completion of a major project, whatever it is, you're going to be celebrating it. Don't let people take credit for your hard work. You feel stuck there. You feel like you can't really leave. But you really can if you want to. Don't be scared. If you feel that you need to at any point leave that job and go someplace else, then do so. Believe in yourself because you are a quality worker. Anybody would be happy to have you. So, But first, find something then leave on peaceful terms if you feel it's unbearable with the drama and gossip. Yeah, universe, please show us. Hmm. People are definitely fighting for power there with each other because you see the blue and the red over here. So you, they're going to try to drag you in either way for you to take sides. Don't take sides. Stay neutral. Stay neutral. Yeah, don't get involved in the dramatics. Yeah, you're just going to suffer. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Gemini. And how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey? You, you emotionally drained at your job. So it's not the job itself that drains you. It's people's attitude, energy, negativity, gossip, drama, and go on and so and so on. So you see, this is this is you just tired of drama that is being created there. Oh, you're so independent. You really don't need to be there. Uh, you could have your own business. If you have already your own business, then you're going to have to kind of clean the house because you have uh, gossipers who are not doing their jobs yeah, like they should be. 
This shows me that you're very independent. You really would be successful at your own business if you don't have one already. Yeah. You are very independent. As far as your soulmate relationship is concerned, you view yourself to be single. Yeah. You're very disappointed in your soulmate connection. You feel unappreciated emotionally by your person. Yeah. You feel, you felt, you feel single, meaning not in a relationship. You felt unloved, unappreciated. Yeah. Neglected in that relationship. You are definitely going to, um, celebrate something to do with your work. Yeah. You feel that you've done everything in your power to make that soulmate relationship work. Yeah. You don't want to, uh, be drained anymore, Gemini. Yeah, this is you letting them go. You already stood up for yourself at your job. You already told them what time it is. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, you have to stand up for yourself because if you don't, they'll think it's acceptable and they're going to continue that toxic behavior. Yeah, you stood up for yourself at your job. You also let your soulmate go. Yeah, you're very guarded emotionally towards your soulmate. You see, justice will be served, so you don't have to worry. Uh, justice will be served. So people who do this to others, like these co-workers of yours, some of them, you know who they are, uh, they're going to have to deal with karma. Yeah, justice will be served. You will be vindicated. So if they're trying to blame you for something you didn't do or say to make you look bad, uh, you will be vindicated. You'll be able to prove that you are in the right. Yeah. You feel so alone. Yeah, you feel so misunderstood by people. Hmm. Yeah, you feel you need alone time away from toxic people. You are of high vibration with high standards. So yeah, most people are not of high vibration. They won't understand you. You have to be very selective picky with people who you call your friends, who you spend your personal time with, who you trust with your life. Yeah. You have to be very picky and selective. You see, some people are very toxic around you. So you know who they are. Don't let them bring you down to their level. Yeah. Devil energy is not good. You know, please show us. Hmm. What's coming up for Gemini and how is Gemini currently doing? New love dawning for you, but you're not really looking for anybody right now. You just want to make sense of what's going on around you. You yourself are manifesting a new uh, soulmate because you're letting go of the soulmate that didn't reciprocate. Look how heartbroken you feel. Oh my gosh. So you feel heartbroken in your soulmate connection and you're letting them go. Yeah. This also shows me that you feel heartbroken, betrayed at your job. Yeah. People betrayed you already and you know who they are but they also betrayed each other so they backstabbed you then they backstabbed each other yeah uh you cannot change people's behavior what you can do is react to that behavior in a way that's positive to you um yeah don't let yourself lose sleep over situation at your job yeah if you feel that it's unbearable then look for another place of employment. Yeah, because you are a worker of quality. Yeah, anybody would be happy to have you. Let's see what's going on with this soulmate of yours. The universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Gemini. And how is that soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini that Gemini is letting go of? And how is that soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time, especially emotionally? You have a lot of drama going on at your job. Oh, my goodness. They want to see you. They're very slow to action, though. Very slow. They want to see you. Spend time with you. Yeah. Communication is showing up here. Problems with communication. They're trying to figure out how to approach you correctly. They love you a lot. Yeah, they do. But they don't express it. Don't really show it. Don't verbalize it like they should. 
a lot of you are dealing with Libra, also sign of Cancer. Look how much they miss you. Taurus popping up here. No matter what sign they are, it shows that uh, Gemini, this person misses you a lot because they love you. If they didn't love you, they wouldn't miss you, right? They wouldn't be even thinking of you. But they do love you. They just don't express it like they should. Yeah. This is them trying to find balance in this relationship with you. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Gemini? And how is that soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time? Especially emotionally. Wow, they lost you. They realize they lost you. That you're gone. That there's no relationship at this time. Oof, they're not happy. There were some serious fights, disagreements between you two. But this shows me betrayal. Five and two makes it seven of swords betrayal. Uh, although they don't view it as betrayal because the card is divided into two. It's not seven of swords in one card. It's seven of swords in two cards. So they don't feel they betrayed you, but they did. Yeah, you feel betrayed. So if you feel betrayed, it means you were betrayed. Oh, they're so scared that it's over. This is going uh, to show up as them going through a lot of emotional roller coasters. This person is going through a lot emotionally. Waves of deep, intense emotions at once. Sadness, heartbreak, regret, also love, joy. Yeah, this person needs to find balance. Yeah, they're so unbalanced. This is them trying to figure out what to do next. They're panicking. They love you a lot, but you see the cups are empty. They don't show that love like they should. They don't make you feel loved. You don't feel loved, even though they do love you a lot. Yeah, they do love you a lot. Yeah, they do. They just, you said something to them that hurt them very deeply, but it's because you told the truth that they didn't want to hear, but needed to hear. Look how much they miss you. They feel so empty without you, alone. Oh, my goodness. They have very hard time communicating effectively with you. They don't listen. They don't communicate. See, the swords are pointing down. This person needs to communicate with you effectively to have a better understanding of this situation, this connection, whether it's truly over or not. Yeah. Yeah. You know, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini. This person feels that you are a significant person in their life. Yeah, this is reconciliation. But you see, they're showing up as Page of Swords. This person does not communicate effectively with you. they also concerned that you're going to be with somebody else. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, Hierophant with the lovers. So there's a new person entering your life. Actually, it's more than one person. But remember, Gemini, you have free will to determine who you want to be with, right? You are in charge of your life. So whether you want to give this person another chance or new soulmate a chance, that's going to be up to you. Yeah. Just be very picky, selective, because you have a lot to offer in a relationship and your job as well. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates entering your life that showed up as lovers with hero fans. So first, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you what they have up their sleeve whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're gonna ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life the lover's energy new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so gemini click on the extended 
link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.